Today's tip is how to add a little bit of sparkle to your next craft project. Okay, take a look at this typical photograph. Great black and white photo, and if I don't say it's a beautiful subject, that's my best friend in the whole entire world, Allie, on her wedding day last year. But this is such a gorgeous photo with kind of a matte finish, so I wanted to add some sparkle to it. I'm going to take a glitter pen here, and I'm going to come right onto the photograph, and I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny hint of shimmer. I'm taking this right to my photograph, okay? Just a nice little effect here. Just adding a little bit of pizzazz, okay? You could add a little sparkle to her eye. Really just anywhere that you want to add a hint of color. The great thing about this is we can go back to old photographs that we had. Now, of course, here's Allie with her favorite flower girl and mine with Logan. And here we could come in and just add a little bit of touch to the flowers. You can kind of outline and emulate almost like a little petal effect to it. Highlight the earrings, or even if you wanted to add a little highlight to the smile. Just anywhere that you feel necessary to add a little touch of shimmer. All right, now let me show you the difference here. Here's a black and white photo, and we've got a fountain. And because we switched this to a black and white photograph, you know, you can do so many different editing things with your computers these days. Because I switched this to black and white, I lost a little bit of depth on the fountain. So all I'm going to do is just kind of highlight the arches of the fountain and highlight the shimmer on the water. Okay, we're just adding a little bit more depth and detail. Like I said, this is great because we can go back to those old photographs, so pull out those old scrapbooks and anywhere that you feel you need just a little bit of va-va-voom, a little facelift for it. Okay, and just continue to add a little sparkle. Now let me show you the difference though between our color photograph and our black and white. See how this clear glitter just really emulates the color that's behind it? Just a really nice touch. Now, if you don't want to use the clear glitter, these pens come in a variety of all different colors. Let me just show you here how we can add a little bit of pink right to our still life. Okay. Just, I know on TV it's a little hard to see for you guys, but you can just see it just is a great little touch. Nice and simple, but definitely a lot of pizzazz. So the next time you're looking to add a little sparkle to your projects, maybe you'll pick up a pen. If you'd like additional information about today's projects or just want to learn more about paint, paper, and crafts, visit us on the web at www.cutterstv.com. The site also features project sheets, reference guides, and crafting tips.